Good morning, friends. Hi. Hi. Oh, it's so dark. <laughs> Friday um, we are headed to my mom's for school and I thought that I would take you along on our like morning routine our school routine stuff that we're learning activities that we're doing that I can share with you guys um, for some ideas for you and if you like these videos I can always do more of them um, Please ignore my bra straps <laughs> as usual um, anyway it is Friday like I said so it's the end of the week we are in our fall learning unit ollie is doing um my oldest if you've never seen my channel my oldest is named olive she's five she's in kindergarten and she is doing virtual learning with her um local elementary school ollie's doing virtual learning like i said um and so but she still does stuff with us like um on our lesson plan if she would like to and stuff that she wants to participate in and then eleanor i am teaching preschool she was supposed to go to a local preschool um a couple days a week but unfortunately that didn't happen either um so i have a background in preschool education so that is what i'm doing and it's been really fun ellie have you been liking it yes yes okay so it's about 7.12, it's really dark out still. I mean, you can see light, but it's still pretty dark. If I'm trying to film, and it's really freaking humid, so excuse our hairs when they start going uh, going crazy. Um, it's the earliest part in the morning, that's why it's dark. It is very early, yes. So, um, we're headed to my mom's now to start our morning, and I'll see you there. moms the girls are just finishing up their breakfast right now and then I'm gonna get Ollie's laptop all ready for her zoom call this morning she starts her school uh, day from 8 to about 9 30 um, with her class and then she's on independent time um, and that's when she does all of her work for her school and that's when normally then um, Eleanor, Eleanor and I do like circle time and we do all our other activities and things like that I really have to work around um ollie um at first i thought i was going to be able to work with ellie while ollie was on but i just feel like since she's still so young i have to listen to everything to kind of see the directions that go in things um and make sure i hear things just in case that she misses out on things just because she's still only five so um it's kind of hard it's like definitely have to be like on the ball all the time but Anyway, so that's the plan. Um, I'm just enjoying my cup of coffee right now. It's normally what I like to do in the morning before school starts is just trying to wake up myself and the girls are waking up and um, I'm just enjoying the morning. I love the morning. I wouldn't say I'm a morning person in the sense that I love waking up in the morning early. I hate getting up early, but I love morning time. I love the way the sun hits all of the houses and the city. I love the softness of everything. I love it. All right, there's Bagheera, always ready for school. Ollie's laptop is all ready and her Zoom call is just pulled up. We're just waiting for it to start. While it starts, I try to have activities for Eleanor to do. This is our fall sensory bin. Um, I try to always have like a themed sensory bin. So we'll have one for Halloween and Christmas and Thanksgiving and Valentine's Day and all those types of things. So this is our fall one. And I just have some dry beans. I get everything pretty much from the Dollar Tree. Some dry beans, some mix of different colored fall feathers, some leaves that just have different textures on them, some pumpkins, and then we're also working on learning about our harvest and farm. So we have some farm animals. 
um, some owls, and then just, and there's some bigger farm animals, and then just for fun, because they like little figures, um, I get these all from the Dollar Tree, these are just little My Little Ponies, so next, um, month we will have like Halloween vill villains from like Disney Halloween villains for the Halloween themed bucket I tried to do like figures that are themed but then sometimes just for them because I know that they really like these ones we throw those in there and there's some sunflowers and stuff like that just different textures different colors just things for them to have open-ended play with so this is the fall one, so this is what Eleanor will be doing while Ollie is on her Zoom call for the morning. Um, and then we will go ahead and start our circle time, and I will share with you all the different books that we have um, for our fall unit, as well as um, some of our work. And I can share with you, you've, you guys have started doing back to school just now that I will share with you some of our back to school activities and our back to school books that I really recommend because I know some people don't start till after Labor Day or just started at the beginning of September. So I will share all that with you. But Ollie's about to have her class start and we're just finishing up breakfast and uh, yeah, so I'll see you soon. Ollie's doing all of her assignments on Seesaw right now, and this is w where I spend my time trying to work with her on her independent activities. And then afterwards, we will go ahead and do circle time and everything else with um, Eleanor. W A or mean E E and T T. Put those together. W -a -a -t -t -t. W -a -t. Good job. All right, so here are all of our books that we have been enjoying for the past um, about three weeks or so. So we have our back to school books, which I will go with, um, go through those with you for those of you who are starting back to school and doing a back to school theme this month and then I also have our fall books and then some um, kind of like math primer books some rhyming books a science related book stuff like that so for our back to school books um, on the first day of school we read preschool here I come which Eleanor really liked we read this specifically for Eleanor um, Ollie the night before we read the night before kindergarten which is really cute I highly recommend that one this one is really cute it has lots of stickers and it's kind of in that theme um, where it's like the night before kindergarten the night before Halloween the night before they had that whole series this one is preschool here I come and I think they have like Halloween here I come Thanksgiving here I come kindergarten here I come so they have even more of this types of series as well. This one was really cute. I just bought this one, I think, off of Amazon. Um, and then the rest are some library books. We have The Pigeon um, Has to Go to School. Of course, The Pigeon series is always a crowd pleaser, um, as well as the dinosaur series. Eleanor loves both of these, and this was How Do Dinosaurs Go to School? And then this is another math primer, um, 7, 8, 9, which was cute. Another math primer was Pete the Cat and His Four Groovy Buttons. Um, I like that one. And then this one is a fall math primer. This one is really good. It's called One Fox, and it's a counting book thriller. Eleanor really, really liked this one. And then um, for the other couple of back to school books, um, I feel like I'm missing some. I know we had more, so I don't know where the other ones are, but these are a good way to start. Uh, we did Ma Maple and Willow Apart. This one's a really sweet one, and it's also nice for the month of September because there's a lot of fall um, pictures and illustrations in it. Um, but it's not specifically fall themed besides going back to school and then we also did within the month um, of August we did back to school but we also did all about me so we read I like myself which is a really cute book about self-esteem and um, just self-worth and self-love it's really cute however the illustrations can be a kind of a bit scary the girls don't have a problem but just so you know if you have a little one that's easily frightened sometimes the illustrations can be kind of frightening but it's a really cute book I love the message and theme, but just so you know about the illustrations. So there's that. Um, and then over here, this is a really funny one. This is a science primer, really good. Same thing with these. These are rhyming dust bunnies. Um, 
really sweet for rhyming and this is is everyone ready for fun Eleanor really liked that one as well um, tap the magic tree is a great interactive book and this is perfect for teaching about seasons and then of course just some fun picture books don't touch this book another crowd pleaser interactive and then Saturday was such a sweet book I really really liked this one um, and then for all of these are all the fall books I have I add more every season um, but this is always fun. We just read this one yesterday. There was a lady swallowed some leaves. It's pumpkin day mouse. Arthur jumps into fall. Splat the cat in the pumpkin picking plan. This is from my childhood. The biggest pumpkin ever. Still so great. We're going on a leaf hunt. This is such a fun interactive song book. And then going on a leaf hunt. So cute. Vampirina in the fall. This is really cute too. I like this for a character book. Amazing Autumn I like a lot too and Hello Fall. Um, all of these are all like I said are ones that I own um, and I add more each year and then um, soon like next month I have a whole stack of just Halloween ones and stuff like that. So we read through all of these and then I put them in our library so they can have time to pull books out and read on their on their own as, on their own as well. So so that is all of our reading material. I thought I would share with you um, our fall ones and our back to school ones if you're interested. And I hope that I gave you some options. Most of these are available at the library. I definitely use the library all the time. And then I also buy um, typically seasonal books or books that we really, really like. I will buy um, for our own personal library, but um, I don't buy a whole lot of books just because they take up so much space and with the library, it's so convenient. But now, <coughs> Excuse me. Now we are going to start on circle time. Our circle time is kind of long, so I don't know if you guys want me to make a whole separate video just on circle time, which I'd be more than happy to do so. Um, but for circle time, we just go through, I have a bunch of um, these large kind of posters of seasons so we go through our seasons and since our unit is about fall we spend a lot more time talking about fall um, I go through our ABCs and letter sounds with our letter of the week we have our shapes that we talk about colors and our color of the month as well as our shape of the month um, we have numbers I kind of switch back and forth between days because Eleanor and Ollie both know their colors really well so sometimes we do numbers one day sometimes we do colors it just kind of depends um, and then how we feel to learn about our emotions and then of course our weather so those are all of our posters and kind of steps we go through um, and then we read our book I also have, if you guys watched my haul, there's a water bottle under there, I have this whole rainbow um, collection that has a bunch of different items in it. So for right now, for instance, we are learning all about the color orange, that's our color of the month. So there's just a bunch of different orange related items and they can pick them out each day. We talk about them, we sort them from largest to smallest, we count them, we do all different activities with them, but they're all themed around the color orange. We also have some flashcards for letters and numbers, mostly for Eleanor. Um, we do our calendar time, we sing songs, and I will share with you our little fall specific activity and song that they love every single year. Every time I do this with any sort of kiddos, they love it. So I'll share that with you at the end. Eleanor's obsessed with her Charlie Brown magnet. Um, but that is kind of our circle time wrapped up. Of course, like I said, if you wanted like a more in-depth video of our circle time, I would be more than happy to share it with you. All of those posters, I think are all from the Target dollar spot, but you can get those things at like Mardell's, you can buy them online on teaching stores. Um, but these are things I've had and collected over the years. Some are laminated, some are not, but that is that. So we're gonna move on to circle time and I will see you for our fall special song and game that the girls love so much. All right, so after we finished our circle time, normally we will read our book. Today we read Arthur Jumps Into Fall and then Eleanor wanted to read this one more time before it goes back to the library. She really, really liked this book, didn't you, Ellie? <laughs> yeah. Um, then I normally reiterate some of the lessons that we talked about um, and letters and our colors and stuff through our videos. So we switch up the uh, letter obviously every week so it's letter D a lot of times I use um, story bots or uh, Bounce Patrol or this is um, just a letter D song from have fun teaching same thing with our songs this is story bot songs uh, orange we also do 
Um, soul pancake. Is that what it's called? Pancake soul? You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, basically you can just type in orange song and it'll come up um, for YouTube kids and stuff like that or just on regular YouTube. So we're doing orange, letter D, and then I also have um, an autumn themed video to show the girls and then we will use autumn leaves are falling down for our leaf activity which I will show you in just a second. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I still, I also use some video techniques to kind of reiterate everything and this is something that they really like. All right, so we are going to do their favorite part of Circle Time, which is from the song from the Learning Station. This is Autumn Leaves Are Falling Down. Um, you can easily sing this. I just put this on for them um, to play. Sometimes I sing it. And um, I have a little bag of pretend leaves that are all different colors. And I get these from the Dollar Tree. And we just throw them up in the air and dance in them, make piles, pretend to rake. They have so much fun while they listen to this song. And it's just a fun interactive thing for them to do as well as like little movement activity. So another good option, like I said, I use these for the sensory bin. These are great for their autumn fun songs. They are great for art and they're really great for color sorting. If you're working on color sorting with little ones. Girls, after you're done, can you sort them by color? Can you sort them by red, green, uh, yellow, and orange? Okay. okay. Ellie, can you help color sort too? Alright, so the other thing I wanted to show you was our little bulletin board. You guys probably saw this in um, our virtual classroom tour. If you watch that, um, I need to take some of the stuff down. But this is a mixture of both Olive's and Eleanor's work. So um, we did back to school uh, art activity and they cut, practice cutting and gluing um, their little school buses. Eleanor's working on learning to write and spell out her name. So we did a, uh, a puzzle that we sorted and made into a pencil. So those are great for arts and crafts back to school activities. Um, these were Ollie's art activities for I think the second or first week of school and she had to draw a self portrait of her wearing her mask. Um, so that is hers. I drew one with her. It's always fun for me to be able to do it with her. So that's that. Um, and then I also, we did All About Me, like I said, for Eleanor um, with during the month of August. So this is Eleanor's self-portrait that she did of herself and Ollie wanted to do it too. All of, the majority of their worksheets are either from the curriculum that I showed you a couple months back um, that I got off of Amazon or find free printables on Pinterest or their curriculum worksheets that I've uh, collected over the years from teaching myself. So those portraits I found off of Pinterest and just printed. Um, some of these worksheets you're going to see are from the curriculum that I have. Just things like that. Really easy to integrate. I'm um, working on our writing as well as coloring abilities. I do like to do a lot of open-ended play for Eleanor because she learns the most through play at her age. But we still need to learn how to write <laughs> and color. So... Um, that's where these two are from, are just from printed from Pinterest. I have a board on my Pinterest called Big Girl Job. I've had it since college. And um, they have oh, so many different ideas and activities and prints and worksheets and stuff in there if you're interested. Um, also, Olive did a Zentangle for her um, work uh, one of her art projects and so I did one too. <laughs> that was my fall one. This is hers. These we did a fun fall fine motor skill activity to work on our scissor skills. Um, we just took paper plates and I made these little hedgehogs and they had long hair and then they just practiced cutting. This was Eleanor's and then this was Ollie's. She cut it and she decorated it. Um, and then this is a schedule for Ollie for all of her scheduling needs for her back to school stuff um, and then back here we have some of our color of the month last month which is yellow so Eleanor colored that we have her all about me for E starts with Eleanor that she decorated and practice tracing her name um, all about me page letter A page letter B 
um, letter A, things like that. So I'm going to take a lot of this stuff down since we are through with our All About Me slash uh, Back to School. And then we'll add in our new fall stuff that we end up doing and those I worksheets. Want that. I, want, I, want, I want those in them too. Good job. Looks good. Okay, let's carefully put them back in our bag. Good job, girls. Mm -hmm. All right, so we are going to move on to our art. Um, this is our art activity today. I thought this would just be fun. Normally we do something a little bit different, but I just thought this would be fun for them. Um, I got these at the Dollar Tree and I thought these would be cute to kind of decorate with. I don't know the quality or how well the paint's going to work, but I do have paint. So I think that if these don't work, we can end up just using my own paint, but we're going to do these. Both of them got one and I do have this little smock probably for Eleanor. Um, just in case, because she's still working with the fine motor skills, Ollie probably will do a little bit better. So, I don't know if this paint is washable, so they have to be really careful. But, this is our art for today. Look how cute. This is Ollie's. She likes to do some ombre action. Super cute. And then this is Ellie's. Ellie did such a good job at trying to stay and paint inside the lines. I'm so proud of her. Well, so, she did a little problem here. But yeah, but she did a good job. So did you. I loved how they turned out. They looked so cute. Okay, friends. So we are actually headed to go get some lunch. We have not eaten out in so long. We've been super good about trying to eat at home all the time. The girls haven't had a treat in a bit. We are running low on groceries. It's been a week. I really don't have to explain, but I'm about to go pick us up some food. So the girls are with my mom right now. Um, we waited a little bit later because their lunchtime is so short. And so I waited until her Ollie's afternoon session. So it's only 12, so 1230. So it's not like it's way, way behind, but I waited a little bit longer and they had a morning snack instead. Um, so now we're gonna go and get their lunch. I'm excited to kind of get out for a quick spell, um, but normally this doesn't normally happen. Normally we have lunch at 11.30 or 11, and then from like 11.30 to 12.30, Ollie has her afternoon session, and then um, she finishes her independent work, and then she signs off at two. So we still have plenty of time. I'm gonna go get some lunch, and yeah, let's go. All right, a lot has happened since I seen you last. I have something on my face, so I don't know what it is. Um, Hi. Somebody, what happened? What happened with you? I lost my tooth. Her second tooth is all gone. I want to show you it. Oh, she's got to show you. Oh, there it is. Okay. There it is, second tooth. So what's going to happen? I'm going to send it to the Tooth Fairy, and Tooth Fairy is going to give me money. Oh, wow. You're going to save it for what? Wiggly. Um, Ellie's got some wiggles. I think I want to save it for Lil's Pet Shop. Lil's Pet Shop toys? Yeah. It's a good plan. I want... Oh, I didn't. All right. All right, so Ollie's now working on her art for the week, her art specials, um, and I like to do it with her because I think it's fun. <laughs> so I have some paper out. We're gonna we're learning about primary and secondary colors today, right? The secondary colors are purple, green, and orange. Good job. So I'm gonna take down some of the stuff that we worked on, and I will uh, keep this in. Yeah, primary colors. And I will keep the rest of this stuff in our portfolio so we can save it. But we're gonna start on our art today and I'm gonna do it with her. Ellie is doing, start up here baby, first one. Ellie is doing her letter D tracing worksheet. 
um, because that is our letter of the week. Ollie just finished up her. No, I'm pretty sure they're almost done, but look how cute. She did with her primary colors, and she added worms and a moon and a sun. This turned out so cute, Ollie. You did such a good job. Can we play? So that is what we're doing right now. Okay, for the girls' snack today, since it is our week, first week of our fall theme, they're having some sliced apples and caramel. Um, they've had these a long time ago and weren't a big fan. They love apples, but weren't a fan of the caramel, so I'm interested to see if they like it now. So it's a fun fall treat. If they do like it, we'll be getting the little cups of the sugar-free caramel. <laughs> All right, so we got these at the beginning of the school year, and I'm just put, making a basically a portfolio of all of their work. So Eleanor's, all of her work, Ollie's, all Ele Eleanor's tracing pages to see how far she's come and things she can look back on. Same thing with Ollie. So they will go in here, and then these are their little um, stations. So that is how I'm going to do that. And then I kind of just took a couple things down, added our birds up, added Ellie's new letter tracing, all of that, looking cute, looking cute. Um, and then I normally have our bigger craft of the week up there, but because we did that today, <laughs> those are staying there. All right, so I wanted to share a couple more of our printables for next week. Um, like I said, everything I got, at least all of these fall printables, were all from Pinterest, and everything was free. Um, I will link my Pinterest board down below if you want to go ahead and look. Um, so I'm first starting with the fall is all around fall color book. Um, this is from one plus one, one plus one plus one equals one dot net. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and she has a bunch of different ones um, so we just have this cute little one and it says like the pumpkin is above the corn and then they always talk also talk about the colors the pumpkin is below the apple the turkey is brown the corn is yellow stuff like that so that is so she has fall colors and then fall is all around so that is the little book we'll put together. A unicorn's yellow. <laughs> then we have a fall fun Q-tip letter painting. This is also, I guess I got everything from one plus one plus one equals one dot net. Um, she has a ton of free stuff and a lot of really good ideas. So this is just a little Q-tip painting. So I will get fall colors and she can then dip and trace the letters. Um, they're not the whole letters of the alphabet, but there are a lot of them, and this will be perfect for her and something she feels like she can do and have fun with. They are double-sided, so that's that. We can always put that together at the end. And then lastly, we have Trace, the leaves in color. Some of these will be for Ollie, too, because she loves to do this type of stuff. So we have some leaves. We have some fun acorn and leaves zigzags. We have some swirls. Like This one will be definitely like more Ollie-geared. Um, mm -hmm. This is like a mirror leaf acorn on one side a lot of them are double-sided Instagram and all the back stuff we're not doing that <laughs> yes this is where you can get it once again one plus one plus one plus one equals one dot net okay you guys see it I feel like I just messed it all that up but that is all of our fall printables oh I also meant to show you this this one got lost but this is the all about my leaf um, I need to make copies of this because I want to do it for olive too um, but we just go out and go on a leaf hunt there's not many leaves out yet because it's still really hot and we're still in Texas so I'm probably will save this probably for next month or towards the end of this month but they pick a leaf we paste it on here tape it on here they go through sizes colors and display uh, explain why they like it so I like this whole activity for more of like or a science and a searching activity times. yes investigating living things and writing so I loved this um, this is from the mailbox and I got this also on Pinterest for free so this is a really good one as well for these next couple weeks I'll probably end up going and printing and we'll some see more you later. <laughs> I'll probably go end up printing it some more, but for now, that's what we have. Um, I do a lot of more like open-ended play, and like I said, we have our sensory bins, we have our circle time, we have our art, we have lots of other stuff too. We don't just do worksheets, but I think worksheets are still important, and I want her to be able to develop her writing skills, and I think they're still really fun, and since Sister is doing stuff like that too, she definitely wants to do it, do that stuff. So, anyway, that is that.
Um, Ollie has finished her art and her specials and everything for the week, so she's officially done. Eleanor's done. Yes. She actually she can do her name tracing, which I'll show you that in just one second. Um, but it's the end of the week for us. We have a three day weekend because it's going to be Labor Day weekend, and we are so excited. I am so excited. Um, but that is kind of the gist of our week. I'll kind of show you how I plan and my uh, planner in just a second. And then I will show you, um, my kids, you know, I will show you how I plan in just a second. And then I will um, show you our, how Eleanor traces her name daily. I think that's a task that is so super important. Um, Olive, I believe, knew how to write her name when she went into preschool. But, that's um, me. <laughs> but uh, every day, every time she went, she would write her name. They'd have a printable and she would write it every single day, I think a couple times. Um, so she got used to writing her name and that's what I'm trying to do with Eleanor. So every day she writes on her little name tracing sheet so she knows one, what her name is, how to spell it, and how to write it. So, I mean, she I knows also, what it is, but she knows I also am doing it on the computer so I can do it. Yeah, Olive has learned to type her name on the computer. So. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna show you those things and then we're gonna head out. Okay, so I'm sure you've seen these a million times. I got these from Target Dollar Spot this year. Um, you can get them at Dollar Tree, Target, um, teaching stores. I mean, these things are so popular. I forget what they're called, but they're perfect because they're laminated and you just put in whatever worksheet or whatever thing that you want that you want to be able to reuse over and over again. So it's dry erase. So every single day, Eleanor practices writing her name um, five times and she's getting better and better. And it's something that she enjoys um, doing and knows like this is her mission that she does daily. And if we forgot to do it today, but <laughs> she's gonna do it right now and she's getting better and better at it and I highly recommend it if you have a little one at home that doesn't know how to write their name yet just practice every single day and they'll get better and better and before and you know it they'll write their name without good. problem yeah she does she does good all right before we finish this video I just wanted to share with you my planner and how I plan and organize everything I love this planner I shared this on my Instagram before this is from the happy planner I love their line I think they're the best planners um, and I got this off their website, but you can find Happy Planner at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Target, Walmart. I mean, you can find them everywhere. So if you open it up, these little um, folders right here are just little inserts. These actually came in a pack of like four or so, and they were separate. I got them at Hobby Lobby, um, and I really, really like them. I recommend them if you have a lot of stuff to keep. Um, and these are actually what I plan on. This was from last week, but I ended up using a different one. Um, but these are little notes that, as you can see, stick right in as well. And these were a separate purchase that I also got at Hobby Lobby. The great thing about buying them at Hobby Lobby is if you say go in in one day and get the planner, you can get 40% off of that or whatever um, for all of their things because it's normally, you know, 40% off of full priced items. So that's a good thing. I have some coupons from Carter's in here, but I love keeping stuff in here like receipts, coupons, stuff like that. And then next we're going to jump to um, September. I don't really have much down on the month aspect which is funny because this is what I used to use the most is the month layout but I don't do that as much I just have a what's for dinner for club and I plan on decorating for Halloween on the 13th but we may move that back down to around here um and this was this past week's so I love to use stickers and make it fun all the stickers that I use um, are typically from happy planner there are a couple things um, that are just random from random sticker packs that I find here and there but um, these are all my sticker books so I have like a seasonal one I have the wrong wrong one I think that's how you're saying it right yep and they just are super, super cute. This one is seasonal too. Um, this one, I honestly don't know which one this one is. Live your life. You've got this. I don't know which one this one is. But this one just has like a theme one. And it's just um, different ones for throughout the year. This is a color story one. I actually need to get more, <laughs> shockingly. These are just like um, like the day-to-day -day life helpful stickers. So 
there's like to-do list, gym, shopping list, priorities, stuff like that in there. And then we have my fall one, which I love. I just got this one. This one is just fall themed ones. And then we have the best year ever, which once again is a seasonal one. So those are all of the stickers that I use for my planners. And then I just plan alongside it. So this was this past week's. Um, some weeks are heavier than the other. Some weeks I managed to put a lot in. Some weeks doesn't happen like that. It just kind of, you know, works out the way that it does. I don't always put my lesson plans in. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But my lesson plans go on this sheet. So this is, I haven't done next week's yet. And I haven't lesson plans fully yet, but this will be my whole lesson plan for that week. So I know exactly what I'm doing, where I need to find the things. Um, this is typically only for Eleanor and then if Ollie wants to do the things too with her, but these aren't Ollie's to do's. I just use her computer and Google Classroom for that because it's just easier to keep track that way. But if there are certain things like she had an assessment this past week to see where she was. So I definitely made sure I wrote that down. But other than that, um, her stuff stays digital. And then Eleanor's is all on here so I can make sure I'm Eleanor's getting um, her full education in as well. And so this next week, like we have our letter of the week this next week is letter E. Our color and shape of the month is a, is orange and a triangle. And then we're breaking down September 8th since um, Labor Day we're off. so. We're gonna have a fall felt tree that's coming in the mail. I will put a picture up. I got it off of Amazon. It's super, super cute. Um, we're gonna do name tracing again. I write that down every single time. Time We're gonna do that fall coloring book that I showed you. I'm gonna add more into this too, but this is what we have so far. And I just wanted to share with you how I plan and how I keep track of everything. All right, so I just got home and I got a package and I wanna share this with you before I ended the video. But I got um, this from Amazon. This is called Awesome Autumn and it's all kind of fall, all kinds of fall facts and fun. So um, Olive's teacher wanted them to have learn about the world books, so just nonfiction books. Um, and so I thought this would be perfect and perfectly seasonally apt. So it just has a bunch of different things to talk about the seasons, activities you can do in the seasons, what animals do in the seasons, um, specifically about birds, food, harvesting, the leaves and foliage, all that type of stuff. This looks like so much fun and beautiful and I'm excited to read it. So I wanna share this with you. I will have it linked below. I don't think it was very expensive. Like I said, I just got off Amazon um, and it's just a little paperback. So I have that link below if you're interested in that. And the second thing is this giant felt tree. So it's just a brown tree. It has a bunch of Velcro little pieces attached. And it comes with a bunch of little leaves that are all in different fall colors. Um, and I thought it would be a really fun quiet, quiet activity for Eleanor um, when Olive is doing her actual virtual learning with the teacher. And we just need quiet. Um, this is probably geared toward like preschool and younger, but I thought it would still be fun for both the girls. I plan on still getting one for Chris, the Christmas tree one, if this one goes well. Um, but it just hangs by the little clips right here. Um, this just like is a sticker on one side, and it just hangs up there, which is easy. And I thought this would just be fun. It's pretty large, so I mean, this is not fully opened, and it's giant. So I don't know. I just thought it'd be cool, and I want to include this. I think I mentioned it already, but I will have this linked below too. This was only about like $10.99 or so, so I don't know. I hope you guys like it too. If you're interested in it, if you have little ones, this is fun. Bring some seasonal joy to your home. All right, guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this kind of day in the life of our school day and our lesson planning and all these full online school and all that type of stuff. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know below if you'd like to see more of these videos, if you want to see more in depth on our circle time routine, anything like that. I love to share this stuff with you. It's fun for me because this is my day-to-day -day life and I know a lot of you guys are kind of starting fresh too and aren't used to this type of lifestyle either. And so if I can help you guys out, I would love to. So let me know below if you'd like to see more of these and I hope that you got something from this and enjoyed enjoyed it and it was kind of all over the place our schedule is a lot more 
succinct I feel like it's better we, it's planned and we got it down but it's Friday and things were a little out of the ordinary but I still hope you enjoyed it and I still hope you got the gist of everything I would love it if you followed me on Instagram at Sarah England if you haven't followed me all, already there I post a lot of stuff of activities we do with the girls there and just stuff about my life and things that I'm enjoying and my family so if you'd like to follow me I would love it and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon in my next video bye guys